Okay, now we have our pre-drilled holes in our block of wood. Now this is going to be a duplex system, which means we're going to have one circuit on one side to transmit our information, and we're going to have a completely different circuit on this side to receive our information. So first we're going to make the transmit key, which is going to be just a piece of metal, and we're going to bend it up slightly, and then right here we're going to put one of our nails to make one of our contacts, and on this side, we're going to put our other nail for our other contact right here. So when I press down on this and make contact with the nail, I'm completing the circuit, basically acting like a switch. Now, I'm going to nail, I'm going to turn that to this side. First, I'm going to take a piece of wire and I'm going to strip the end off here. This is a telephone wire, so normally it strips pretty easy. Come on, baby. There you go. Now, I pre-tap this, and I'm going to wrap my wire around my nail, and I'm going to nail it down. Now, I'm going to swing this into position and tap it down. And my second nail... I'm going to have another piece of wire. Now I've created my switch. So that when I press down here, I'm making contact and completing my circuit. Okay, the next step is we want to hook our battery up to our switch so that we can send power to the coil on the receiving end of our transmitter. So I'm going to take my battery, and the center one is my negative, and the corner one is my positive. So I don't want to hook this positive up to there because if I press my switch and I had this hook to here and this hook to here that would be a dead short and we would overheat our battery so I'm going to wrap this around here and then I'm going to take my two contact nails stick them here and wrap this side to one end and take another piece of wire and wrap it to this end And then this red will go to the positive side of my battery. So now, when I press the contact, it's sending voltage to these two nails, which are going to be hooked up to our telecommunications wires that will go on to our receiving end. Now we want to build the receiving end of this station right here. So, in order to do that, I already have my nail, and it just drops in here, so that's the easy part. The next part is, is I need to put this piece on as my sounder. Now, this sounder doesn't get hooked up to any electricity. It just has to be attracted to the nail whenever I get a signal into this coil. So, I'm going to bend this part up at a 90 degree angle, and then over here, on this side, I'm going to bend this down so that it makes an S shape and I can get it pretty close to my nail like that and then I'm going to nail it down now I'm going to take my coil out and get my pieces unwrapped here so that I can connect this to my receiving connectors right here
Okay, now that my telegraph is complete, I just have to make one identical to it to hook up to it so that I can talk back and forth to somebody else. Okay, so I have my um, two duplex stations here for transmitting. Now, I only have one battery available right now, so I'm just going to send from here and receive here. So, I've got my wire strip, and since we're only doing one side, we only need two wires. So, I'm going to pick black and red and bend the other two back, which they would normally go to the other side. So, I'm going to put the green and the yellow back. And then, now on this, um, you actually don't need to be very specific which goes on which one. So I'm going to hook the battery up to this side. Now, and then this cable, you can make it as long as you want. You, um, within reason, you can't make it like a mile or anything, but, you know, within reasons, you can run it across the yard or something. So you're not limited to how long you can make this up to a point. And now, when I press my key, this side should be attracted down. So let's try it. It's not making a nice snappy noise. There we go. You do have to kind of adjust this just to make sure that it's very close. So now whenever I touch the switch, it's going to cause the this coil to create a magnetic field and attract our piece of metal. And now we're ready to tap out some codes. And I'll put a link on the side as to where you can get the codes and how to develop different models of this. Like you can, like you can get more fancy or less fancy than this. And that's it. Thanks a lot.